Until recently, video games could only provide rewards to players who remained within the game's environment. However, developers are now looking into new avenues for monetizing the digital value generated within the gaming universe. Some new monetary models have emerged in the gaming industry because of the use of cryptocurrency and NFTs. Some of these models allow gamers to potentially earn money simply by participating in their favorite video game activities. These types of games are referred to as play-to-earn games. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Trends. In today's video, we'll talk about play-to-earn crypto games and how to make money from them. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What are play-to-earn games? Overall, play-to-earn games are those that allow players to enjoy them in terms of gameplay, such as conducting battles, breeding their in-game characters, completing quests, or completing various other tasks. They will receive some form of in-game currency that can be used to purchase NFTs later on or they can transfer the currency directly to a cryptocurrency wallet where it can be sold or traded for tokens or currencies that can be used to make real-world payments, such as Bitcoin. This is the method by which players are compensated for their participation in these crypto games, and it is one of the primary incentives for players to participate actively in these games. Hence, the enormous growth in popularity of games that require players to play to earn. As a result, we will be discussing some of the most popular cryptocurrency games, which are worth millions of dollars, in some cases even billions of dollars, and are traded on a daily basis. Number 1. Axie Infinity On August 8, 2021, Axie Infinity became the first Ethereum-based NFT game to achieve a million-dollar sales milestone. More than a million people are currently playing the game. A Vietnamese company known as Sky Mavis developed this most popular NFT game on the market right now. It is one of the most lucrative games available on the entire blockchain network. Axie Infinity is essentially a Pokemon-inspired game in which you can create a team of creatures, known as Axies, that you can use to battle other players in the Arena Mode or fight enemies in the Adventure Mode. In the Arena Mode, you can battle other players, while in the Adventure Mode, you can fight enemies. There are two cryptocurrencies in the game, the Axie Infinity Token, or AXS, which is the primary currency, and the Smooth Love Potion, or SLP, which is a secondary currency. The AXS currency can be obtained by placing high on the PvP leaderboard, while the SLP currency can be obtained by completing Adventure Mode levels and winning Arena matches. It is necessary to have both tokens in order to breed an Axie, and this is a process that can only be completed if you already have two Axies. Each Axie is an NFT with a unique set of body parts that determine its skills as well as its rarity. They are typically sold for around $101,000, with extremely rare ones selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars, such as Axie number 1733, known as Venom, was sold for 110 Ether on March 23, 2019, and then for 104.25 Ether on September 25, 2020. Despite the fact that the Axie Infinity is a play-to-earn game, it continues to attract NFT collectors because Axies can sell for a significant amount of money. According to DAP Radar, it is the fourth largest marketplace in the world. On the other hand, the AXS token is trading at $136.65 with a market cap of $2.9 billion. Axie Infinity is a game that requires three axes to begin playing. To get started, you must purchase three axes from the marketplace. However, it is worthwhile to invest time and effort into the game because it does indeed pay well in a variety of ways. Number 2. Decentraland there is a good chance that cryptocurrency investors and enthusiasts have heard of the Decentraland's Mana Coin before. This project was one of the first of its kind, having been launched in 2017 through an initial coin offering that raised $24 million. Decentraland is a virtual world game that runs on the Ethereum blockchain 
in which players can create and monetize various types of content and applications, such as plots of land, in order to earn money. The land can then be moderated with features that distinguish it and make it more appealing to other players, potentially allowing it to be sold for a higher price to them in the future. At the end of 2021, a plot of land on Decentraland was sold for more than $2.43 million. Additionally, Decentraland has a second token in addition to its native mana, much like Axie Infinity. Yeah, I'm talking about land. It's basically ERC-721 tokens. Avatars, wearables, names, and other digital items are all available for exchange on the Decentraland marketplace, and mana is one of the most widely used digital currencies. Number 3. The Sandbox Sandbox, an emerging star in the realm of 3D virtual reality crypto games, has a similar gameplay like Decentraland. A utility token known as Sand can be used by players to transact in the marketplace and trade digital lands. The gimmick of Sandbox is, in fact, the limited supply of 166,464 lands, which drives up demand while making it prohibitively expensive to acquire them. On the subject of graphics and interface, players in the Sandbox will be able to create their own methods of monetizing content, while reminiscing about the classic Minecraft experience in which scenery and items are presented in block form. Trading lands and objects, as well as completing in-game tasks, are the most effective ways to earn money in the Sandbox. Number 4. Gala Games Gala Games wants to change the gaming business by giving users back control over their games. Gala Games' objective is to create blockchain games that people will want to play. The project aims to change the fact that players can spend hundreds of dollars on in-game assets and countless hours playing the game, only to have them taken away with the click of a button. It intends to bring creative thinking into games by providing users authority over the games and in-game assets through blockchain technology. Players can own NFTs and have a say in how games are governed inside the Gala Games ecosystem. The Founders Node's voting method allows gamers to determine which games Gala should develop and sponsor. Gala Games uses Gala, its own utility token, in addition to purchasing NFTs for individual games. Gala Games has thus far published one playable game, Townstar, and an NFT collection series, Vox. Many more games will be released in the future, including Legends Reborn, The Walking Dead, Empires, Mirandus, Legacy, Last Expedition, and Echoes of Empire. Number 5. Gods Unchained Gods Unchained is a video game developed by the same team that developed the Immutable X Layer 2 scaling solution for the Ethereum blockchain. This means that the game runs on Ethereum and makes use of Immutable X, which allows decentralized applications, or dApps, to trade peer-to-peer -peer without incurring fees and allows up to 9,000 transactions per second to be processed, or TPS. The game director for Gods Unchained is Chris Clay, who previously worked on Magic the Gathering and is currently the game director for the game. Gods Unchained, on the other hand, is a trading card game in which players compete against one another using a deck of cards that includes core cards and genesis cards. Core cards are the cards that you earn for free simply by playing the game and completing objectives. There are, however, card packs that players can purchase if they want to avoid the tedious process of grinding. These were sold prior to the game's release and are no longer available for purchase or use. Therefore, if you intend on using them, you will have to purchase them from another player. The Immutable X Marketplace is where players can buy and sell any of the cards that are available in the game. This marketplace accepts Ethereum as a form of payment, which means you'll need a MetaMask wallet or another supported wallet to participate. Each card has a unique set of stats and rarity. The more rare a card is, the higher the price at which it can be sold. In fact, on December 6, 2019, more than two years ago, a God's Unchained Mythic card was sold for 210 Ether, which was equal to $31,000 at the time of the transaction. Additionally, in order to participate in the game, you must create an account and, as a new player, you will be provided with a free set of cards to get you started. Gods Unchained also has its own cryptocurrency token, known as the Gods Token. 
It is possible to use God's tokens to craft NFTs, to purchase packs from the God's Unchained Marketplace, and to earn even more rewards by storing the tokens in Immutable X, all of which can be done with the tokens. This token also serves as a voting power, allowing you to participate in governance proposals that have the potential to influence the game's development in the future. Gods Unchained is a game worth playing because the Gods token is currently trading at $2.21, making it one of the most valuable gaming tokens available in the crypto world and making it one of the most valuable games available. Number 6. Illuvium Illuvium is a 3D RPG open-world game that runs on the Ethereum blockchain and features auto-battle mechanics. The primary goal of the game, similar to old-school RPG gameplay, is for players to win battles, complete quests, and advance through the ranks, with the primary reward being ILV tokens, which are digital assets. NFT Alluvial is a creature with a variety of skills which players can collect and upgrade in order to win battles against other players. When trading in the Alluvium marketplace, players can use real-world money to purchase both NFT Alluvials and in-game items, similar to how they do in other NFT games. The integration of Alluvium with Immutable X, the protocols of Layer 2 solutions for NFTs with zero fee charges, has increased the visibility of the company. To differentiate itself from other Ethereum blockchain-based gaming platforms, Alluvium is able to provide its community with free peer-to-peer -peer trading, which eliminates the need for a gas fee. According to expectations, Alluvium will allow gamers to enjoy gameplay and trading across a range of DeFi platforms when it will release in the first quarter of 2022, which implies very soon. Number 7. Plant vs. Undead in addition to being extremely versatile, Plant vs. Undead's farm mode keeps you engaged by providing you with the opportunity to earn light energy, which in turn results in PVU tokens. Having NFTs as control over your in-game Plant vs. Undead assets provides you with a means of earning money while you play the game. This is what distinguishes it as a play-to-earn game. So basically, this is a game in which players manage their farm and produce light energy, or LE, which is the in-game currency. Currently, these light energy tokens can be exchanged for the cryptocurrency token known as Plant vs. Undead token, or PVU, which can be used to fight zombies. Afterwards, this token can be traded on a variety of decentralized exchanges. To earn LE, you will need to harvest seeds, complete daily quests, such as watering the plants of other players, and generally do anything else that is required with the farm or surrounding area. The Plant vs. Undead token, or PVU, has a value of 7.459 cents, making it a valuable token to earn and one that, if amassed over a long period, could result in a substantial payout. Aside from that, you can sell NFT plants on the marketplace, where common NFT plants will sell for around 10 PVU tokens, and rare NFT plants will sell for more than 100 PVU tokens. So, some players can simply plant plants and earn light tokens that can be converted into PVU, while others can concentrate on selling NFT through marketplaces. The game runs on the BSC or Binance Smart Chain. You can, however, use a MetaMask wallet if it is connected to the BSC, if you prefer. How much money can you make from play-to-earn games? The amount of money earned through play-to-earn games varies, but, for most players, it is unlikely to be enough to allow them to quit their day jobs. Income potential is determined by variables such as the game in question and its current popularity, demand for any NFTs or tokens offered, and the general state of the crypto market. While some NFTs earned in games have sold for hundreds of dollars, this has not been the standard thus far. Players that spend longer time in the game may have a better chance of earning more, but there is no assurance owing to the other factors listed. However, some people in underdeveloped nations, where the US dollar is more valuable than the local fiat money, have been able to replace their unemployment benefits by playing play-to-earn games. Final Thought Historically, the only method to monetize anything linked to video games was to sell an account. In games like World of Warcraft, for example, some new players may be willing to pay for an account that already contains established characters at high levels and sophisticated goods. 
newer pay-to-win games are now a part of the expanding metaverse, a phrase used to refer to all facets of a blooming virtual reality universe. Have you ever tried any play-to-earn crypto game? If so, how much was your first payout? Let us know in the comment section down below. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.